Although cauliflower is a safe vegetable to feed your guinea pigs, we've never fed the florets to our guinea pigs. The reason for this is that when we first got guinea pigs, we kept reading advice that said cauliflower wasn't something they should eat. We've taken a closer look at the nutrition in cauliflower to see if we could find out why this vegetable was not recommended. In fact, we thought it would be interesting to compare cauliflower to broccoli, which is a veggie that we do occasionally give our piggies. But first, we're going to take a look at the other parts of a cauliflower that we do feed to our guinea pigs. Cauliflower leaves are a great food for your guinea pigs. The main part of their fresh daily veggies should consist of leaves. And although these are often cut away from the cauliflower before they reach the supermarket, this is not always the case at fresh fruit and vegetable markets. If you have a fruit and veg market or a farm shop nearby, you may be able to get cauliflowers with the leaves intact. And if they don't sell cauliflower with the leaves on, it would be worth asking if they can keep some aside for you. The stalks of a cauliflower can be fed to your guinea pig. They don't always like this part, but it's worth a try to see if your guinea pigs might eat it. This part of the vegetable is often thrown away, but it does contain a lot of nutrition that's good for guinea pigs, and in fact good for humans too. Cauliflower has about 48 milligrams of vitamin C per 100 grams, which is a good amount, but broccoli has twice as much of this nutrient. We need to make sure guinea pigs get vitamin C in the food they eat each day, as their bodies can't make this vitamin, and a deficiency can cause scurvy. But although cauliflower has half as much vitamin C as broccoli, it does have more than oranges and dandelion leaves. Cauliflower has a bit less fibre than broccoli, but it does have more than some other popular piggy veggies, such as bell peppers, celery and tomatoes. Cauliflower isn't very high in sugar, but it does have a little more than broccoli. It's not enough to be alarmed about though, as some of our guinea pigs' favourite foods, including carrots and red or yellow bell peppers, have more than twice the sugar that cauliflower contains. Calcium is an essential mineral in our guinea pig's diet, helping to keep their bones and their teeth strong and healthy. Cauliflower has 22 milligrams of calcium per 100 grams, which is about half the amount contained in broccoli. And it's also quite a low amount if you compare it to many other vegetables. Cauliflower, broccoli and cabbage, and some other vegetables as well, are all members of the cruciferous family. Although they are extremely healthy, they are also very gassy and can cause bloat if fed to excess. And this can be really uncomfortable, but even more importantly, a dangerous condition for a guinea pig. With cruciferous veggies, it's important not to feed large amounts and always mix them up with non-cruciferous veg to balance everything out. This way, you should avoid your guinea pig becoming ill. Having looked at the nutrition and weighed it all up, we can't really see why your guinea pigs can't eat the cauliflower florets. But do take our advice and only give in small quantities mixed with a good variety of other fresh veggies and perhaps a very small piece of fruit occasionally. For more ideas on what fresh foods you can feed your guinea pigs, check out our safe fruit and vegetable sheets. With full colour pictures to help you identify the foods, it also tells you how often you can feed these to your guinea pigs. Our food sheets are a digital download that you can print at home and are available to buy online. I've put a link in the description below to where you can buy our fresh food sheets.